a gift for the emperor. Lee was working on a project about giraffes. It's brilliant, said Chip. Giraffes are my favourite animal, said Lee. They go to sleep standing up. You are a giraffe expert, said Chip. I don't think so, said Lee, and went to show his project to Biff. Biff was not in her room. Just then, the key began to glow. It took Lee on a magic adventure. Lee went back in time. In front of him was a ship. It's enormous, said Lee. Admiral Zheng has returned, said a woman. The ships are full of gifts for the Emperor from far off lands. Stand back, Admiral Zheng shouted. Another gift for the Emperor. Lee looked up and gasped. The gift was a giraffe. Be careful with it, said Admiral Zheng. Wow, said Lee. The giraffe's legs were tied. A man put down water for it to drink. At that moment, the emperor came. The people bowed. I have been told of this wonderful animal, the emperor said. Is the giraffe dangerous, he asked. Put it in the cage. Lee was upset. He did not want to see the giraffe in a cage. Lee ran up to the emperor. Oh, with respect, mighty emperor, he said. A giraffe cannot live in a cage. Please untie its legs. It cannot drink until you untie them. The emperor looked at Lee's project. These pictures are astonishing, he said. So this is how giraffes drink. And this is how they eat, said Lee. It's why they have long necks. We must hang food up on a pole. Lee sat with the emperor. They are incredible animals, Lee said. They can chew twigs with thorns on, said Lee. Amazing, said the emperor. We will keep the giraffe in this park, the emperor commanded. He has trees and a lake. The giraffe will be lonely, said Lee. Bring back another one right away, ordered the emperor. Amor Zheng turned to Li. You are the expert, he said. Where can we get another one so quickly? Er, uh, let me think, said Li. Then the key glowed, and the magic took Li home. May I see your project, asked Biff. The emperor took it, said Lee. But he did say thank you. The end.